Hello everyone, welcome back to statistics.education. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. In previous video, we learnt about discrete frequency distribution. Today, we will learn about continuous frequency distribution. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the topics covered in this video. First, we will learn about continuous frequency distribution. After that, we will take a look at the upper limit and lower limit of a class. Then we will learn about mid values followed by range and class length. And lastly, we will wrap up with a practical sum of continuous frequency distribution. So let's start the video with continuous frequency distribution. A continuous frequency distribution is a way to organize and summarize continuous data. Here, the data is continuous Thus, unlike discrete data, we cannot take specific values in class. Thus, we need to take range. For example, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and likewise. Now here you can see a specimen classification where in the class column, instead of single values, there is range. And the frequency indicates that 15 values are from 0 to 5 range and 10 values are from 5 to 10 range and likewise. Now let's learn about the terminologies and formulas to prepare a continuous frequency distribution. The first two terms are upper limit and lower limit. The first class is 0 to 5 and its frequency is 15, which means there are 15 values which falls under 0 to 5 range. Here 0 is the lowest value of this class and 5 is the highest value of this class. Thus. The lower limit of this class is 0 and the upper limit of this class is 5. Easy to obtain, right? Now find out the lower limit and upper limit for class 25 to 30. Now let's move on to mid value. Mid value of the class is the central value of the class. The formula to obtain mid value is mid value is equals to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Let's obtain the mid value of class 0 to 5. Here, the upper limit of the class is 5 and the lower limit of the class is 0. So, the mid value is equals to 5 plus 0 divided by 2. So, the mid value will be 2.5. Now, obtain the mid value for class 15 to 20 and give your answer in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the next topic that is range. Range is the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value of the given observations. The formula to obtain range is range is equals to maximum value minus minimum value. For example, the following data shows the number of sixes hit by batsman in a T20 match. Obtain the range for the following data. So here, the maximum value is 99 and the minimum value is 5. So, the range is equals to 99 minus 5. So, the range is 94. Range will be useful to obtain the class length. Now, obtain the range for the following data. Now, after range, let's learn about class length. Class length is the difference between the upper and lower boundaries of a class interval in a frequency distribution. It is also defined by capital letter L. The formula to obtain class length when the classes are not given is class length is equals to range divided by number of classes. We have already obtained the range that is 94 and the number of class is either given in the question or to be decided by the investigator. In our case, it is not given in the question, so we will assume that the number of classes are 6. So, the class length is equals to 94 divided by 6. Thus, the class length is equals to 15.6666. Approx value of the class length is 15.67. Now, let's see the formula of class length when the classes are given. When the classes are given, the formula to obtain class length is class length is equals to upper limit of the class minus lower limit of the class. Let's obtain the class length for class 20 to 25. Here, the upper limit of the class is 25 and the lower limit of the class is 20. So, 
the class length is equal to 25 minus 20. So the class length is equal to 5. Now when the classes are not given, we don't have the upper limit or lower limit. Thus to obtain that, we need the following formula. Upper limit is equal to mid value plus half of the class length and the lower limit is equal to mid value minus half of the class length. Let's obtain the upper limit and lower limit for mid value 22.5. Here the class length is already given that is 5. So the upper limit is equal to 22.5 plus 1 half of 5 that is 2.5. So the answer is 25. And the lower limit is equals to 22.5 minus 1 half of 5 that is 2.5. So the answer is 20. Now obtain the upper limit and lower limit for the mid value 32.5. I would recommend to note down all these formulas on one page for reference while doing the sum. Now let's move on to the practical example. The following data shows age of the members of a society. From this data, prepare a continuous frequency distribution having 10 classes. To obtain the classes and class length, first we need to obtain the range. So let's find out the range. Range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value. Here, the maximum value is 101 and the minimum value is 2. So, the range is equals to 101 minus 2, that is 99. Now, once we obtain the range, we need to obtain the class length. The class length is equals to range divided by number of classes. Here, we have obtained the range, that is 99. And, in the question, the number of classes is given, that is 10. So, the class length is equal to 99 divided by 10, that is 9.9. .9. Now, after obtaining the class length, let's start creating classes one by one. First, we will start with the lowest value from the observations, that is 2. 2 will become the lower limit for the first class. And to obtain the upper limit, the formula is lower limit plus class length. Here, the lower limit is 2. And the class length is 9.9, .9, so upper limit is equals to 2 plus 9.9, .9, that is 11.9. .9. So the first class is 2 to 11.9. .9. So the upper limit of the first class will become the lower limit of the second class, okay? So 11.9 .9 will become the lower limit for the second class. Now to obtain the upper limit of the second class, we are required to add 9.9, .9, that is the class length, to 11.9 so we will get the upper limit of the second class and the same process is to be followed for the remaining classes so let me show you a calculator trick for this now on your calculator type 2 and add 9.9 .9 to it and press is equals to button so you will be able to see 11.9 .9 on your screen so we got our first class that is 2 to 11.9 Ok, now instead of adding 9.9 .9 to 11.9, .9, just press is equals to button and you will be able to see 21.8 on your screen. So we will get our second class that is 11.9 .9 to 21.8. Now to obtain the next class, press is equals to button again. So the next class is 21.8 to 31.7. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 31.7 to 41.6. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 41.6 to 51.5. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 51.5 to 61.4. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 61.4 to 71.3. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 71.3 to 81.2. Now again press is equal to button and we will get our next class that is 81.2 to 91.1. Now again press the equals to button and you will get the next class that is 91.1 to 101. Now we have obtained all the classes. Now let's put the tally marks and obtain the frequency distribution. The first value is 5, 
which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 14 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. The next value is 20 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. The next value is 25 which comes within the range of 21.8 to 31.7. The next value is 33 which comes within the range of 31.7 to 41.6. The next value is 48 which comes within the range of 41.6 to 51.5. The next value is 10 which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 19 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. The next value is 66 which comes within the range of 61.4 to 71.3. The next value is 29 which comes within the range of 21.8 to 31.7. The next value is 42 which comes within the range of 41.6 to 51.5. The next value is 67 which comes within the range of 61.4 to 71.3. The next value is 85 which comes within the range of 81.2 to 91.1. The next value is 19 which comes under the same range. The next value is 101 which comes within the range of 91.1 to 101. The next value is 6 which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 17 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. The next value is 52 which comes within the range of 51.5 to 61.4. The next value is 75 which comes within the range of 71.3 to 81.2. The next value is 69 which comes within the range of 61.4 to 71.3. The next value is 22 which comes within the range of 21.8 to 31.7. The next value is 36 which comes within the range of 31.7 to 41.6. The next value is 67 which comes within the range of 61.4 to 71.3. The next value is 15 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. The next value is 28 which comes within the range of 21.8 to 31.7. The next value is 34 which comes within the range of 31.7 to 41.6. The next value is 47 which comes within the range of 41.6 to 51.5. The next value is 71 which comes within the range of 61.4 to 71.3. The next value is 88 which comes within the range of 81.2 to 91.1. The next value is 10 which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 98 which comes within the range of 91.1 to 101. The next value is 2 which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 44 which comes within the range of 41.6 to 51.5. The next value is 57 which comes within the range of 51.5 to 61.4. The next value is 9 which comes within the range of 2 to 11.9. The next value is 12 which comes within the range of 11.9 to 21.8. Now let's count the tally marks for each class. For 2 to 11.9, there are total 6 tally marks. For 11.9 to 21.8, there are total 6 tally marks. For 21.8 to 31.7, there are 4 tally marks. For 31.7 to 41.6, there are 3 tally marks. For 41.6 to 51.5, there are 4 tally marks. For 51.5 to 61.4, there are 2 tally marks. For 61.4 to 71.3, there are 5 tally marks. For 71.3 to 81.2, there are 1 tally mark. For 81.2 to 91.1, 1, 
there are three tally marks for 91.1 to 101 there are two tally marks now let's add all the frequencies the total is 36 and you can see there are 36 observations and the total frequency is also 36 so we have considered all the observations given to us and we have prepared a continuous frequency distribution from the given data now let's move on to the assignment part from the following data prepare a continuous frequency distribution having 12 classes now we have solved one sum it is similar sum instead of 10 classes you are required to prepare 12 classes for the following data i hope you will be able to do this very easily thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more educational content don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos click here to check out our other videos on statistics see you in the next video